Astronomers tell us that the moon is just a chip off the old Earth block, born soon after the Earth itself was torn away from the sun. Let us see what happened on this cosmic birthday some four billion years ago. The slowly spinning Earth stuff was pulling itself together into a compact solid globe. Their contraction speeded up its spin to once in ten hours, nine hours, eight, seven, six, five hours. Then things began to happen. Centrifugal force caused one side of the fluid gaseous mass to bulge. At first, a step towards throwing off a part of its substance. Soon it was pear-shaped as the bulge grew bigger, then bottle-shaped with a narrowing neck connecting the parts. At last it broke into two and the moon was born. At first it stuck close to Mother Earth, running circles round her, keeping nose to nose, so to speak. The noses, of course, were great heaping tides piled up by the mutual gravitational pulls of the revolving masses. These tides are the clue to the rest of the story. The Earth tide acting as a huge brake band tended to slow up the spin of the Earth, and at the same time pulled the moon forward, giving it greater velocity, and consequently making it shoot farther away in a gradually expanding spiral. Here we see the moon at its present distance from the Earth, 240,000 miles, and astronomers have calculated that these two actions will continue until the moon, after some hundreds of thousands of millions of years, has reached its maximum distance of 350,000 miles, and our days, which are lengthening at the rate of one second in 120,000 years, will then be 47 of our present days. Then, say the astronomers, the tidal drag of the sun will cause the process to be reversed, and the moon will start spiralling back towards the Earth again. Until after some more untold billions of years, it will only be 12,000 miles away when the dramatic last act begins. Rushing round the Earth once every 24 hours, the moon will lift huge ocean tides miles high, which will doubtless sweep away all trace of life from the face of the Earth, so that man will not be there to see the death, the final cataclysmic breakup of the moon globe. For at such quarters, the terrific pull of the Earth will literally tear the moon apart reducing it into tiny fragments, spreading them into a great flat ring encircling the Earth. Viewed from afar, the Earth will look much like the giant planet Saturn, with its great ring composed of small particles, which were probably once a moon, or moons that ventured too close to the disrupting planet mass. Let us imagine man and his works have survived this cataclysm. He would see across the evening sky a great arching band of pale eerie light. And as he watched through the night, he would see the black shadow of the Earth creeping across the scattered remnants of the once resplendent moon like a huge warning finger pointing the ghostly hours on this sundial of the night. <laughs>